Welcome back to Let's Talk Retro. Yes, and today my quest to collect all the Commodore 64 Mastertronic games continues. And I've got some amazing gifts to show you. This beat is, this beat is, this beat is Mastertronic. This beat is Mastertronic. So get them on it. So I have some gifts to show you and uh, these are people that have wanted to help uh, me in my quest to collect all these Commodore 64 Mastertronic games. And the first two are from someone called James and uh, he's from some YouTube channel called Let's Talk Retro. So thanks very much James for those. Yeah, I gave you them. Uh, oh, it was you, was it? Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, well, oh. go check out his channel, everyone. Anyway, so first up, we've got one called Hacker with the great tagline that says, you found your way in, but is there a way out? Mm. I hope so. It's like me when I go in um, Ikea. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There's never a way out of Ikea. Let's buy some. It's the only way they can bloody go out of those places, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so I was just reading this idea. It's quite funny. It says, you stumbled onto something during a, light, a late night session with your modem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. We, yeah we've I all mean, done that. I had a late yeah. night session with my modem a good yeah. few times, yeah. <laughs> Accessing... <laughs> Accessing a remote computer somehow, you made a connection with a computer you didn't know existed. Mm. Please log on, it's prompted. Please log on. Yeah, that's the prompt. Uh, <laughs> this is the ultimate simulation of computer hacking without the risk of prosecution. Wow. Yeah. Or the liability of a huge phone bill. It's loading instructions, hold down shift key and press run stop, press play on tape, program will load and run. We become more allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, trying to, yeah, 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 yeah. Next we have one that you also give to me, or gifted to me, and this one is called Street Beat. Now there's actually an interesting little story mm. behind this game because apparently the guy that made it, I can't remember his name, someone I don't know whether it says in here somewhere. Dave. <laughs> Dave, yeah. Uh, oh, that's all too small to read. So anyway, made by one guy. Yeah, so the guy that made the game actually sold the game to two different companies, Massatronic and Virgin. Before, well, at the same time? Yeah, before Virgin had actually bought out Massatronic, which they obviously later did. But yeah, when they were two separate companies, he sold the same game. This one's um, to Massatronic, and called it Street Beats. And he sold exactly the same game to Virgin, and he called it Ghetto Blaster. They must have been so mad. I wonder whether they actually ever... So they must have had it? some guidelines to say, you, you know, we're buying this exclusively and... You would have thought so, wouldn't you? But oh, it's different, it's Go Blaster, that's but a different But apparently he never turned up to get his royalties, so... Uh, Didn't he? Wondered, no. Yeah, so uh, anyway, yeah, so... Any idea beat. what you're supposed to do? God, it's so small on there again. That's just a blur to me. Mm. Someone might as well just got a oh. pen and just done lines. Yeah, it's <laughs> like someone squashed a fly. <laughs> if music be the food of love, oh. play Street Beat. Play it loud and proud. Stand out of the crowd. Get them dancing in the street while you collect the new brand, new beat. Watch out for the tough guys when uh, they've got ro uh, roving eyes and they'll fry you alive if you touch their jive. Almost oh, sounds like an intro rap. It is, yeah. Imagine doing that with a. Uh, nothing much else to say. Featuring great music with 12 original tracks and it's got detailed 3D animation. But that's cool. cool. It's got a story behind it, though. Yeah. So uh, thanks very much for those. That's, I don't very much appreciate I think that's it. an original case because it's got a TDK embossed into yeah, it. Yeah, not BSF. That's on the BSF tape, so yeah, so yeah. Those two came in a big um, um, big Amiga bundle All right. that I bought. So that whoever, that's why the Commodore first, then went on to <coughs> Amiga. And there was those and a couple of others, but because you were collecting uh, Mastertronic. Yeah. And you didn't have them, so there yeah. you go, look. Cheers for those. You're welcome. So uh, the next... Hope they load. Yeah. So the uh, next lot of gifts, uh, there's quite a few, uh, come from a guy called Will. And uh, thanks very much, Will. I know you'll be watching. You say you've been watching and enjoying these videos. I will. Yeah. And uh, so Will has been been really good. It's been a great guy. He contacted me via our website, 
Uh, if you let's talk retro.com. Yeah, as I was going to say, if you haven't been to our website, that's uh, www.letstalkretro.com, like you say. And uh, yeah, Will contacted me and said, hey, you know, he's been there before me, he's been collecting these games for quite some time. Uh, he's got a huge Commodore 64 collection. He's got like all the Hit Squad games and the Kicks games. And I heard Sailing games. is his favourite game. Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's been enjoying these videos for some reason. He thinks we're funny, I don't know. Funny looking. Yeah, but. probably. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so but Will's been really good. We've been chatting via email and he said that he's got like a load of doubles. Wow. And he'll go through and see what he can do to help me out. And he sent me a load, just asked me to pay for the postage. So. And we are not joking, he has absolutely gone to town there's <coughs> yeah. stacks here wow one good one stacks but quite well, a few i mean I mean, amazing very, i would yeah, say yeah very 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 generous generous yeah. yeah so anyway so one that i've been after for a little while that you sent me is this one it's, um it's called plus one because there's actually two games on the cassette so you see what they've done there i didn't know this existed till the other day and uh it's got two games like, like i say jungle story on one side and Bionic Granny on the other. Uh, Bionic Granny? Yeah, yeah. So I've already got both these games. So Bionic Granny is your plus one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Very quick. Yeah, so yeah, so. Um, is that a fast loader? It is, I think, yeah, fast loader. Oh, it loader. is very Probably quick. 64, then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm sure Will doesn't think we're funny no, anymore. Yeah, he's thinking, what? Yeah, two games for the price of one on one cassette. So it's Bionic Granny. Bionic Granny? Yeah, Jungle Story. I've got them both individually and now I've got them. Hey, another one off the list. Yeah. Bionic Granny. <coughs> so, next up, another one that I've I been... mean, that's not a rip off of Jungle Book by any chance. Plus I one. I think we've already mentioned it on an earlier oh. video. So, uh, another one that I've been after for a while and uh, that Will's very kindly said to me is Vectable. And uh, again, it's another one that the writing on these cassettes are so small. I haven't got a clear one, but see if you can read that. Your eyesight must be better than mine. I need to go to the opticians, I think. Uh, played between two droids on a specially constructed pitch, Vectable is an exciting blend <coughs> of many different traditional games. <laughs> Cockoos. Right. Using all your skill, guide the droid around the pitch in an attempt to score more goals than your opponent. Five different pitch types to choose from, each with its own characteristics. Kind of like a tennis game then. So yeah, tennis or football. Or... Each pitch will require a different skill and combining all the various skills will enable you to master the game. So that's some pretty cool write-up for it. Yeah. So there's like pitches with holes in and there's a hill in the middle um yeah and there's a goal at one end that looks pretty cool all right so another one that you sent me which uh we didn't have on the ricochet um special that we'd recently done um this one is i don't know how you spell just play that the e delong yeah i'd e say that that's about right yeah so it's on the uh, like i said on the ricochet label so that was one of the few that I needed just to finish my Ricochet collection. So uh, again, thanks for that, Will. That's really cool of you to send me that. Discover the secrets of... It looks like a H, but it can't be, because it... Anyway, a mysterious 19th century machine crafted of crafted of wood and brass. It's a steampunky. Yeah. Cool. Right, so next up we have uh, another one on the Ricochet label, so I think these two more or less finished the Ricochet ones that I've been after, and this one is no introduction to any retro game or shouldn't do, and that is Jet Set Willy, The Final Frontier. Created by... Matt Smith. Hooray! Hey. Very talented, Matt Smith. I wonder how many thousands of these were sold. Yeah, especially at that price. I mean, if you didn't already own it, then... Mm. Getting it for two ninety nine. Must have for a Commodore sixty four owner. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Jesse Willie. Really. So next up, we have uh, the first. We've got some different labels. Obviously, I say Mastertronic have various labels. Mm. Um, one Still label. Trying to keep up with how many. In... No, no. And one label I didn't know till recently that they actually um, was all in charge of was um, Americana. You remember like the license to thrill Americana software. Nah. And it's just that sort of logo there. Um, 
So yeah, that was a software again. So it's top budget. software from America. Yeah, I think it was um, US Gold stuff. The US Gold right. eventually did kick, so I think that was their mm. own budget. K I X X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then they eventually did that, but before then, because they wanted to get some stuff out, they licensed it obviously to Mastertronic and they came out on the Americana mm. label. And uh, this is, of course, a classic Commodore 64 game, Beachhead 2. I always thought Beachhead 2 was called Raid Over Moscow, but it doesn't say that on there, so I'm not sure. We're not going to do any jokes about Beachhead. <laughs> Moving on to another label that Mousertronic were involved with and uh, this is the Racket label which they used to release Houston software. Oh, okay. On. Yeah. So um, the first one we got is uh, Battle Valley. Uh, so that's obviously oh, Houston, Houston Consultants what I'm talking there's about. There's an Amiga version of that. Ah right. The thing I like about this one is it's got a Zap64 Silver Medal Award sticker on it. It's wow. amazing. The actual case is a little bit Beat up, so I'll pop that in a new case. Oh, but, but then you'll lose the sticker. Oh, yeah, I'll have to see if we can get that off. Well, I might have to stay in this case. Then, yeah. yeah. I don't know. You we'll might break the sticker if you take well, it. I might be able to just get a new, new back bit. Oh, yeah, even better. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll sort that out. But um, anyway, yeah, so Battle Valley. Do so you remember on the Amiga? Did you mm. play on the Amiga? Yeah, I had it. I, when I got my Amiga, there was some Houston pack that I can never find. I had about eight games, Cybernoid 2. I'm sh absolutely sure there was a game called Battle Valley. And again, it's like postage stamp size box on the back mm. for the text. It's just, just you might as well just get a marker pen and just go whoosh, 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 as far as I can see on that. So anyway, yeah, so uh, the first one on the racket label, it's the first one in my collection on the racket label, uh, Battle Valley. And we love Houston stuff, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, next up, as I say, again on the racket label, so it's a Houston game and it's a uh, Hero Botics. Never heard of that one before, never played that. Yeah. Don't know about you. Big uh, robot. Big robot on the front. Shiny a red robot with a massive gun. That is quality. There we go. Right, and uh, lastly on the racket label, so also another Houston game is Super Cup Football. <laughs> uh, I used to love my football games, but never came across this one. And looking at the graphics on the back, it was very similar to uh, Sensible Soccer or Micropro Soccer. The text is a bit bigger on the back of this. It says, These are not really known for their sports games, no, are they? No, not really, no. It says, with strategy and skillful ball control, compete to see whose team will win the Super Cup final in this multi-directional scrolling soccer simulator by John Connor. So, yeah, so that's... Uh, Super Cup Football has got like this weird, weird looking guy Sponsored by film. Houston. Yeah, sponsored by Houston on the kit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he's doing uh, that. The trophy's this could just fall and squash him. It looks like the old Milk Cup, the, uh, the trophy. Milk Cup? Yeah, there used to be the League I mean, Cup was called the Milk Cup. Was it? And Liverpool oh, okay. used to win it all the time. Ah. Yeah. They drink milk out Our of it. Our friend Tootie remember the times, the days when Liverpool used to win the milk cup, I sure. That is a massive cup. Yeah, so that's the ones on the racket label that he sent me. And then he sent me some on another label, which is the Tronics label, which is, I think this was after... Another um, one? Yeah, I think this was after Virgin, it's got Virgin Games on the back, somewhere, yeah, on the side. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, I remember the Smiths. So nice yeah. labels. So yeah, so, W and the H. Yes, yeah, I'm been, brilliant. I used to work for W H from the other mm. as well. Uh, so yeah, the best game that most people have heard of it's Golden Axe, mm. and it's I say on the Tronics label, which was when Virgin were part of Mastertronic, and they seemed to have dropped the Master and just went got to the the Tronics. License. So yeah, and they got the obviously the license for Golden Axe. Has it got Sega yeah. anywhere on? The most famous, oh, there's the most famous of Sega's coin up beat em ups, smashes its way to your computer. Hectic combat action await you. A perfectly produced beat em up oozing quality and every pixel. Or from every pixel. 96% overall, says Zap. Wow. A that diamond conversion, epic. unmissable. 90% overall, the one. Can you remember what the voice says at the start of the game? No, I can't actually. Should do. Can we do an impression? Yeah, go on then. Run, go! I don't remember that. But. That's a 96% accurate 
impression. So yeah, that's got a 399 David Smith label on it. Yeah, hey, that's brilliant. <coughs> right, so also on the Tronics label, um, what well, a game that I actually owned back in the day. I had a sticker album at one point. And it's uh, Italia 90. So yeah, when the old uh, World Cup was on. In what 19 year was that? Yeah, 1990. Obviously, it was out in Italy, and that was uh, the mascot for the World Cup. That's on the cover yeah. there. And, uh, I yeah. still remember that mascot. Question though: What's that? Who won the World Cup in that 19, year? 19, yeah, it was Italy, wasn't it? I think they won it in their own country. I don't know. If I remember I'm rightly. generally asking. I'm sure they did. Might be wrong. So you uh, think it's answers, Italy? Answers in the comments. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So Italia ninety. So moving on, now this is one of my favourite games of all time. And I know it's one that you enjoy as well, you like as well. And it's Ivan Iron Man Stewart's yes. Super Off-Road Racer. Now I've got the Amiga version of that, mm. that's my favourite version. Never played on the Commodore 64, so I'm going to be interested to see how good or how bad it is. The Travelling Fair had the four-player yeah. Yeah, well monster. Again, there's one that I used to say we could go over to the local service station like you did. Mm. Um, now Chase HQ over there, and they also had this over there when it's the four player with the steering wheels mm. and stuff. Um, absolutely brilliant, and I said when it came out on the Amiga, I was really chuffed. So um, yeah, one of my favourite all time game. arcade games. Great to play on your own, great to, great to play with friends. And uh, on a budget label like this, I'm sure it probably did really well. It does get a bit samey, doesn't it? <clears throat> I tell you what, this is on one of those clear tapes as well. It was oh, really cool when they ooh, first came out. Well, I think my um, Kylie and Jason album <laughs> um, came out on this. Especially for you. Yeah, yeah. it was. Especially clear. So um, hey, That does look great though, doesn't it? So it's grab the wheel and hit the nitros. A challenge of off-road racing awaits you. This conversion of the arcade, of the American arcade coin of classic contains all the thrills and spills of the original. Highly recommended, the one. Simply the best and will be for a long while yet. Computer and video games, 94%. So great reviews, as you would expect. 10 out of 10 for the cassette. Yeah, that must have been probably one of the first games on a cassette like that. I think the first ever album I had on a thing like that was uh, Queen. Um, Greatest Hits Volume 1? No. Uh, that's the one with one, one in one every vision five all households that has that album in the UK. What was the one with one? Is it a kind of magic? No volume one greatest hits. No, that was kind of magic was the first oh, one of it. Right. So yeah, super off-road racing. And last but not least, this is like two games in one, apparently. And um a magazine, well a comic that I used to read in probably late eighties, early nineties. And it's Viz. Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't know. Viz. Did you ever read Viz? I bought one once. Roger Melly, the man on the telly. Mm. I wasn't um, allowed it because it was too rude. Not for sale it, to children. Yeah, there you go. And it had, what was it, Buster Gonads? That's it, right, Buster Gonads. And they were so big, he had to carry them around in a wheelbarrow. That's right. Um, and then you've got, one cassette's got the main game. Uh, this is one of those dual cassette jobbies you used to get with your big comp my compilations I, on. I'm pretty sure I've seen Kim Justice stream this oh, right. recently. And this one's the bonus game on this, this cassette. The funny thing is on the side it says this is the game and on the other one it says this do this this nice box contains. Yeah. Oh, it's probably supposed to be this bo nice box contains this is the game is it? Mm, they put it the wrong way around it's, maybe. It's the wrong way around maybe. I don't know. That's like um, exactly the Cassandra case <laughs> you get your now 16. That's what I say yeah yeah now games yeah. It says um You've read the magazine, you've bought the books, you've coughed up for the calendars, bought out <laughs> for the t-shirts, boxer shorts, hats, alarm clocks, and God knows what else. <laughs> now for the biggest rip-off of them all, wow. the computer game. Come on, you've already picked it up, now buy it. What a brilliant No reviews. Warning, this software contains language that may cause offence. Oh, Can you imagine that? Uh, have you played it? No, never no. played it, no. Have to let us know yeah, what Yeah, interesting to see uh, what it's like. So, yeah, there we go. So those were all from Will. I know, what a fantastic gift. Yeah, fantastic. He said he's going to um, keep an eye out for some other ones. He's also he's got like about 
think it's three games left to actually finish his con- oh wow Mastronic collection so I'm keeping an eye out for him as well mm. anyway so thanks very much Will and uh, no, doubt, no doubt we'll continue to uh, communicate via real email and stuff like that and uh, maybe we'll see you at one of those retro gaming events that we've been talking about um, soon uh, who knows be great to meet you so anyway that's it for this special gifts edition of the mm. Mastertronic Quests um, videos and uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, as always, James, what they got to do until the next one? Keep it retro, everyone. This beat is, this beat is, this beat is Mastertronic. This beat is Mastertronic. So get them on it. This beat is, this beat is, this beat is Mastertronic. This beat is Mastertronic. So get them on it.